hello guys uh, how are you all uh, today we are going to see a special type of problem in uh, projection of lines that is midpoint you can see here in the question given line ab 100 mm long measures 80 mm in front view when 80 70 mm in the topic that's what the question given so 100 mm is the true length and uh, 80 and 70 mm are the apparent lengths so it is one of the difficult and important problem so please follow step by step till the end you can able to understand okay so if you are not subscribed to my channel you can subscribe it and hit on the bell icon for the latest notifications okay watch till the end you can able to understand all the steps in this uh, midpoint problem okay so in this uh, midpoint problem they have not given enough uh, information but uh, we need to do okay using the solution okay step by step we are going to do it select uh, a4 size here a4 wide we need to select okay and here in also we need to select a sheet and unselect the show background and click on the save defaults so this is how we do the sheet setup okay guys uh, please uh, follow step by step so you need to understand uh, this problem clearly first uh, we will be constructing an x y line and here the thickness we should uh, maintain it is continuous line and the thickness should be 0 0.13 mm draw horizontal line xy and write vphp so we need to use only the first quadrant in the projection of lines and here the size you can give 5 now you type x y v p h p okay now we will take the midpoint distance here it is 40 mm given okay both in hp and the vp plane so for this i will be using offset command i will be offsetting a distance of 40 mm both above and below give the distance of 40 and type enter and same way drag the cursor above the xy line and click enter so we have drawn the locus lines so now you can change the type of line here so it, it should be line dot line or dashed line you can select okay here it is not highlighting no need to worry okay it will be changed now go to line command and here you can see here uh, we need to draw a line of length 180 and 70 80 and 70 are apparent lengths 100 mm is the true length so what i'll do i'll be cutting the arcs here because there is no locus length given so that means uh, here uh, we should be we don't know how much angle also that angles also we need to find out in this problem so that's why i'll be using the arc by center command so from this point so here i'll be giving 50 mm and cut the arc we don't know how much uh, angle is just draw an arc okay above and below okay another length of 40 because this is 80 mm right half it is 40 so cut arc of 50 and 40 because it's 180 okay and the same way downward also we need to do like that give 40 and give 100 mm in the same way we need to do in the bottom portion also take a continuous line and try to join 
so this is 50 anywhere you can join no problem the length should be 50 mm you should get Okay, first I'll be constructing the below side also the same procedure we do it 50 mm cutting the arc okay here also 50 mm cut the arc same here it is 70 mm means 35 we should cut Here also 35, we need to cut. Okay, first I'll be drawing the upper end lens. Okay, you know that upper end lens, top and front face are joined by straight line. We'll be using that concept. First I'll be drawing the midpoints. So here the midpoints, we can give this as M dash and this is M. First we can construct the upper end lens. So 40, we're getting exactly 40 here. Okay. And the same way and draw a line downward is from there. So that you can get the exact length here. So use here extend to next command because here 40 plus 40, 80 mm and we should get a, a straight line. Okay, here it is 35. So we need to project downward, vertically straight line. You can extend this arc. Now we can join. So you need to be joined here carefully. So make sure you're getting cross uh, symbol. Okay. Okay, apparent lens were joined. Drawn here. So the apparent lens we should make it uh, dark here i'll be drawing a vertical line you can see disconnected by a straight line so that means the problem what we are doing it is correct now true lens we should construct so this is a dash and this is b dash this is a and this is b Again, go to line here. You need to draw the locus lines here for the end of the lines. Should draw it. So, wherever we get the end of the lines, we should be constructing the locus lines. Okay, remember it. So, here we are getting the end of the lines. So, we should be constructing the locus lines here. So if you are not subscribed to my channel, you can subscribe it, click on the like button and hit on the bell icon for the latest notifications. So in this drawing channel, you will get all the modules related to drawing, whether it is plane, solid, isometric, development, everything you get it. So it is available in playlist. So here we are changing the thickness of this line. We should know that 
the apparent lens should be having the more thickness than the true lens okay i am changing it to 0 0.50 okay now we need to construct the true lens here so you need to join exactly the point you need to take that is uh, the intersection of both the locus line and the arc point okay the x mark you should get it so make sure you zoom it till you get the exact point and then extend this line using extend to next command okay Okay, here also getting the exact uh, cross section okay the, that is correct the same way so you can give the naming for this this is a1 dash this is b1 dash okay, in same way here also we do it so the 50 mm lens we should construct here join it so it is of having the same length of 50 so join 50 and then extend using extend to next So while doing, if you are doing any mistakes, means no need to worry. You need to do the exact solution. Okay, mistakes do happen. No need to worry. So 100 mm, it is correct. And same way, measure it. Also, it is getting little more, more, little bit more than 100. Means uh, somewhere uh, we did mistake. So we need to rectify and change it. can see here uh, this is where i think uh, uh, somewhere we did the mistake here we have not uh, touched the loc uh, locus line plus the arc okay i'll again do it just deleting this line because we need to get the exact solution okay just deleting and re read do it again so no problem so again we are doing it just the lower lowest part because in the upper part we are getting the exact 100 mm so here in also we need to get the 100 mm here again i will go to arc by center so take radius of 35 enter so this should be 35 not 40 this should be 35 mm radius and draw an arc yes okay now you can see this local line also when you should delete okay again uh, by doing this we'll get the exact solution you can find it at the end yes intersection of these two locus and that vertical line coming downward yes this is the exact point now we will constructing the locus line using extend to next we can extend this straight line this is apparent length yes we got it in a correct uh, position
okay little bit mistake here so we can again just in the lower part so we'll be collecting here Thirty five, we should get this. Hmm, now it is exactly touching it. Hmm, what is correct? Let's change the thickness to zero point five zero mm. Now the locus line we should draw. This is here at this intersection point should be careful now the two lengths we should draw to draw it we should cut an arc for a length of 50 here because total length is 100 so 50 here and uh, 50 here cut it now join so you need to see that uh, cross mark okay yes this symbol you should appear So this is B2. Okay, now we got it all the two lens and the upper end lens. Now, so we should uh, measuring the lens and angles. Okay, now we are getting the exact lens here, guys. That means uh, we have done correctly. Okay. Yes, we are getting 40, 50. 40 means 80 mm, 50 means 100 mm. So we need to measure the angles. Okay, 47 degree theta. This is alpha. 65 degree okay and same way here also we find out it is 62 degree beta and psi having 38 yes guys we have uh, completed the problem so you can subscribe to my channel and hit on the bell icon for the latest notifications and share to your friends and circles so that they can be benefited here okay if you have any doubts related to this projection of lines you can comment it okay so related to engineering drawing subject for first year engineering i have all the modules covered and it has been there with respect to the playlist either it can be sketches or it doing in the software so thank you all